Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Kennebago smelt. It was originated in the early 1950s by Bud Wilcox, who was a Maine game warden and guide in the Rangeley Lakes area. Originally it was tied with saddle hackle feathers, but this variation is going to be tied with marabou. It's a very popular fly for landlocked salmon in the early spring when the smelt's starting to run, and it's usually tied in sizes two through eight. Here's the fly in the vise. So the hook we're going to use today is a Mustad 3665A. That's an extra long streamer hook. And our thread today is going to be UTC 70 denier in black. We'll start our thread about an eye length and a half behind the hook eye and run back to the bend. The first material you're going to tie in is going to be our rim. This is uh, some Vivas French oval tinsel and silver. So to keep our tie-in point small, I'm going to strip away some of the tinsel around the core, which will give me some fiber to tie in. And the body of the fly is going to be made up of uni mylar silver gold tinsel. This is size 14. And the body is silver, so we're going to tie it in with the gold side facing us. And we'll save our work here. I'm going to use the bobbin cradle and the rotary function of the vise to tie this long body in. And we'll capture our material here. Get rid of the excess. Save our work. And once again, we're going to use the rotary function of the vise to make the rib just some nice, even, open spiral turns. Okay, next we're going to tie in the belly of the fly. This is just some white bucktail. Don't need a lot. I'll just kind of hand stack it. And we want this to extend just past the bend of the hook. Next we're going to tie in our throat and that's going to be some yellow saddle hackle fibers. So we'll pull some fibers out to even out the tips, strip those away. 
We want these to extend about halfway down the shank of the hook. No more than that. Tie those in right on top of the white bucktail. Spread them out a little bit using your thumbnail. Now we'll work on the back of the fly. Going to add a little color to it. The first is going to be some red bucktail. Just a few strands here, just enough to add some color. Just trying to even the tips up a little bit here. So we're going to tie these in right on top to extend back just past the bend of the hook. And the next color is going to be blue, some blue bucktail. You want to keep these clumps fairly sparse, or well, you'll end up with a big giant head on the fly, which we want to avoid. And these will extend back the same distance as the red. And for the main part of the wing, we're going to use some um, hairline marabou strung blood quills in black. Pull away some of the material we don't need to keep the bulk down. I'm going to tie this one on top and it's going to extend back as far as the bucktail did. off what we don't need. And the topping for the fly is going to be some peacock hurl. So we'll find five or six strands of strung peacock curl here, and we'll tie those in, even up the tips as best we can here. And these are going to extend over the top of the black marabou as far back as the marabou. Tie those in right on top. Cut our excess. and neaten up the head. And I'll just slip down. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Okay. Four or five turn whip finish. Seat or not. Cut our thread. Add some head cement. And our fly is complete. Please feel free to leave comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time.